Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steve. Oh, I think I've adjusted my camera. I think my camera is too low. One second, let me just uh, adjust that back up a little. There we go. That's a bit more centralised, isn't it? Okay, yes. Anyway, people, I'm going to be playing Spaceborn 2 today. So it means getting out my keyboard and setting up my keyboard, which I haven't done quite yet, but I will do it in a second. So here's my snazzy one-handed keyboard. With wrist mount, I guess. So yeah, I just need to make a little bit of room on my desk before I can actually play it, find the cable to plug it in and all that sort of shenanigans. But yeah, I've done a video on this. It's a very nice little keyboard and it really does help for this game. So anyway, while I get set up, I'm going to drink some of my tea, because this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. And I'll see you over inside of Game Peeps. Heck yes. Hmm, I see you want some set up, people. Right, see you in a moment. Salute Mondo. Well, people inside the viewerverse, it seems to be that there's been an update to this game. So I've just installed one of the updates, but there's been a couple of updates. So yeah, pretty darn freaking epic. Anyway, looks like we're going to be jumping in, but you know what? I might take a look around this space station that I'm in and maybe look at some of the consoles. See if we can buy some ship perks and updates. I've also got a cheese sandwich on the go. <laughs> so I'll see you inside the game, people. Heck yes. Okay, people, well, I'm inside of game. I've managed to crouch, and I don't know how I managed to do that. Um, get up, stand up. There you go. Cool. Right, so I figured I'd just look around at some of these consoles and see if there's a way to actually, you know, change stuff up on my ship. Considering we've had these new updates and it mentions a lot of outfitting stuff, let's have a look what we've got over here. What's this? Trader components. Let's have a look what's inside of there then. Ah, you say? Okay, cool. What the actual fudge is this all about? We can get new armors. Heck yes, but well, where's my money? I've got 1,000. I haven't got a lot of credits. I can't even buy a new freaking gun. That's a bit freaking mental, isn't it? All right, well, um, if I can't afford a new gun, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford myself anything for my ship. I would have thought ships would have been a lot more expensive than um, this sort of thing. Have I got anything I can sell? I don't know whether this is on my person or what. S to compare. Okay, so I have got some on there. Righto. So, currently equipped. I think I've got slightly better than what this is anyway. So I think I can I think I can sell that one. No, we will sell it anyway. Go on in. Yeah, sell. Okay, well that doesn't work. Alright, all right, fine. So we're not selling that then. <laughs> okay, is there anything for ship outfitting? Turrets. Okay. Here we go. Let's interact with this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to afford anything. No, look at this. This is freaking mental. It's right, well, I need to find myself a job. That's what I need to do. But you know what? Since we've already checked these and there's not much I can actually do here, we might as well head back to my ship. Now, you're probably thinking, Captain Steve, you haven't played this game for such a long time. Why not? It's not that I don't like it. It's because there's just so many blinking keys to remember. The whole sort of idea of jumping back in after a couple of days away is just a little bit daunting for me. And also, I've been away, you know, to the Philippines for freaking two weeks. So I've kind of, I've even forgot where my blinking ship is. I can't remember where I've got to go down a lift or what, to be honest. So it's just going to be a freaking, oh, okay, there, there you go, look, I found a dead end. So I think I've got to go this way to get back to my ship. But I don't even know what dock it's on or anything right now, people. And it, it's that reason. I think if you're not playing this game every single day, which I'm not, you're going to lose your bearings with everything. It's a spaceport this way. All right, spaceport. It's not as in-depth in as Star Citizen, but similar sort of thing with Star Citizen in the reason why I didn't overly like it. It's just It just feels overly convoluted in everything that you need to do. It's like, I don't even know what what blinking landing pad my ship is on right now anyway let's uh let's just head on up and just hope that it's the landing docks one and two or one and th okay land it's more likely to be on one three and four isn't it you know there's, there's three landing pads over this way so let's go that way and uh yeah i wonder if there's a console that tells me what ship what, what landing pad mine is on i mean this one just says ammo all over it okay um, I could do with buying some more missiles, if possible, please. Nope. No, that's not happening. Okay, fine. Alright, cool. Um, it doesn't have your ship ammo in there, by the looks of stuff. Alright, uh, ships. Here we go. Ships. Let's interact with that one. 
Um, hold on. I don't even know what ship is mine. That's not my ship. That looks far too nice. That's my ship, I think, isn't it? Who freaking knows? Okay, it's tier two. What landing pads is it blinking on? Or Oh, no, this is to buy another one. Well, I don't want to buy another one. I just want to know where my blinking ship is, mate. Components, components. All right, let's um, hit this one up. Okay, so repair kits. I don't even know if things. I don't even know if things are broken on mine, mate. So who bloody in knows? I tell you what, I do need some more missiles. But where do I buy missiles? You know, this game doesn't really come with a tutorial. Well, it comes with lots of video tutorials built in. But um, you know, hopefully people inside the comments steer me right. You know. Anyhow, where's the doors? Where do I go out to the actual ships? Here we go. Let's head on out of here. Okay, let me out. Okay, I can't go out of there. So maybe my ship isn't out there. Um, I have no idea how to return to my ship from this actual airport. Right, well, we go up the ramps then. Just hope that mine's on docking platform two. Just go up here then. Bum, 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 bum. You gonna let me out? Can I go out these doors? F. No. So I don't know how to go out the doors, which isn't great, is it? Um, no, that's not going out of the doors. That's doing something completely different. Left click does nothing. Right click does nothing. Scroll wheel does nothing. F is doing nothing. Um, I can bring up the galactic map, but I just want to open this poxy door. It'd be nice if when you hover over it, it tells you what button to press, but I, I can't open the door. So maybe there's a console that opens the doors. I don't know why I'm in automatic run mode now. I must have pressed something to enable auto run or something. But no, I don't know how to open the doors. So I can't get back to my blinking ship even if I wanted to right now, people. You know what I might do is I might just pause the video recording at this stage and I'll let you know once I've managed to find my blinking ship and get back into it. This is the whole reason why I haven't hit up Starborn 2 again is because it just seems a little bit overwhelming for me. I'm much better with games like No Man's Sky. Um, I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not cut out for games like this. I don't think people. Um, but yeah, um, well, I'm, I just carry. Oh, hold on, landing ports. I, I'm in the landing port now, aren't I? Yeah, this is where I wanted to come. And now I know where the landing port doors are. I just don't know how to open the blasted things because yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no button press option. When oh, here we go. F to interact. Okay, no, I'm standing next to a ship market. So it interacted with that, not with the door. Come on, how do I interact with the poxy door? Come on, that, that, I just want to open this blanking door. All right, people, I'll be back with you, like I say, once I get back to my ship, I think. Because this is not fun to watch, is it? Well, it probably is. You're probably laughing at the screen right now or shouting, It's this button! Okay, chums, well, I found these ship management consoles. They were just over here. I was bumbling about by this door that's just there. The ship management consoles are over here. Let's see if we can call the ship and let's see if that lets me open the door. Cool ship. Yep, that one. Cool. Why won't it let me call it? Okay. It doesn't even tell me what freaking one it's on, but for whatever reason, I can't call it. Um. Okay. I thought maybe I'd worked out how to do it, people, but obviously I haven't. Uh, cool ship. Yes, that one. Cool. Doesn't work. All right. Well, that's um, a bit weird. All right. Fine. Um, what's up these stairs? Let's have a look up here. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. There's another door. Aha! There we go, people. <laughs> so I was trying that door for freaking ages. I had to go up the stairs. Yep, there was no indication that that's what I needed to do. There was no marker to my ship for a start or anything like that. But it looks like we're there, people. It looks like we managed to work out how to get to my ship eventually. Right, now I've got to work out how to blink in take off again. Um, which button to take off, please? Take off is R. Here we go, then. Sweet! Oh, okay. We'll get another update. We're getting another freaking update, people. Right, well, I'll have a little swig of my tea. I finished my cheese sandwich. It took me the time of eating cheese sandwiches to actually sort that one out. I've nearly finished my tea as well. Yeah. Yeah, please do not close the game. Well, it looks like the update's just frozen. And for whatever reason, it looks like I've actually got more than what the update said. Okay, here we go. Brilliant. We build a friend. Okay, go to the Coron's lab. 
Okay, well, let's bring up the old galactic map. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, galactic map. How do I bring up the old galactic Weapons map? Uh oh, what did I do? I pressed something. I'm not too sure how to bring up the old galactic map now, people. Um, galactic map, galactic map. How do I get into you? Uh, I, oh, actually, if I press H, I can bring up the cursor. I think if I go to this one, this brings up the galactic map anyway. Probably not the best way of doing it. Um, and I'm not too sure what system I'm supposed to be going to. Okay, escape. Let's have a pretty look. Resume. Let's have a look. Go to the Chronix lab at the Xenovar's planet. It's not the easiest of stuff, is it? Okay, let's try that again then. Is that the galactic map? It'd be nice if it told you what you're blinking hovering over, wouldn't it? All right, okay. So the Sonic Station, Zanavars, I think that's the one I need to go to. So there we go. Inspect, uh, left mouse button, set target, which I've just done. Okay, that's where I want to go, I think. Um, yep, that's where I'm going. Let's have a look at the Galactic Atlas. Oh, no, I don't think I want to zoom out that far. I'm in the Zanavar system already, so yeah. Yeah, go into here. Uh, Zonavar, oh my days, what have I blinking done now? Alright, escape again and uh, resume. And there's probably easier ways to do this. But like I say, I haven't played this for a little while. So this is the sort of thing that I was dreading. This is why I haven't jumped back in again. Because unless you're playing this, like on day to day, it's very easy to forget how you do everything. So we go, E to inspect. Okay, let's have a look at that then. Zonavar's planet. And then where did I have to go? Oh, throw me a freaking bone. Oh my days. Holy fudge. I'm fairly sure it was Zunavar's. City of Zunavar? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not. Right, let's exit out again. Let's have a better look. No, so it's the Koronar's lab of Zunavar's planet. Koron's lab. Okay, let's try that again. Because I don't think I saw Koron's lab on there. There's Zunavar's planet, E to inspect, Kronos lab. It's not there, is it? I'm not going crazy. There's no, it's not there. All right, well, we, we, we just we just fly close to it and see what happens. Um, I'm fairly sure that was a spanning, Zunavar's. Let's, uh, let's see. Yep, Zunavar's. Okay, well, I've, I've added it into the waypoint. I'm fairly sure I've got it into the waypoint. But now how do I actually... Okay, Uvis Trade Lab. Okay, let's get away from this thing. Universe Trade Lab. I, I don't remember the controls, and I don't even remember how to accelerate now, people. So, um, oh, there we go. We're moving away. There's Zunavar's there. Okay, mouse, mouse button to lock on. Okay, we're locked on. Okay, now which button do I press to warp? Was it space? Was it shift? I think it was shift. Here we go. Engine status is going up. It's going up to 100%. Something's happening. There we go, people. I worked it out eventually. But this is what I was dreading. This is why I haven't really hit back up Spaceborn 2, because I'm not really used to all these keys, even with this little keyboard that makes it a lot easier. It's just not for me, I don't think, people. As much as I like this game, I suck at it. Okay, so here we go. Lock on to Kronos location with mouse button. Great, but I don't know where. In order to see the landing points on a planet, first toggle the warp drive to online with B. Warp drive online. Okay. Lock on to Kronos location. Koron location. Oh, there it is. There it is. They've even put it in purple for me. All right. Yep. And hold shift. Okay. The surface align process is completed. Waiting for the thruster input. There we go. We're doing it, people. All right. Well, I, I, I was just saying that this is probably too complex for me, but we've managed to pull it off. We're doing it anyway, people. We're heading down to that location. Eh? On the actual planet. I wonder if this is what Starfield is going to be like as well. You know, at least then you might get to use the joypad and hopefully have less controls and things to click on and things to do and hopefully being that it's you know got a whole dev team hopefully we're going to have a, a little bit more coordination with it all is this just going to auto land me or something because i don't know how to slow down something wrong 
Holy fudge. Okay, I better level myself out somehow and land this thing. Alright, there we go. We're flying down. Probably way too fast. I'm not too sure how to do the yaw left and right now. Oh, here we go. There we are. That, that's alright. we have worked that one out. Let's get down there then. Landing gear, I think was R, wasn't it? Is it R? No. So, what's landing gear? How do I deploy my landing gear? I can't remember how to deploy landing gear. Alright, let's go into settings. Go into input, and let's have a look for landing gear. Alright, fine. So... <laughs> You see what I mean? I'm, I'm just not very good. Toggle landing gear is N. Okay, fine. N. Where's N on my bloody keyboard gone? Alright, it's not on this little mini keyboard. It's over on the other keyboard. Fun times. Alright, I don't even know whether that's a landing pad there. Or whether I just land somewhere like here. I don't know. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's just deploy the landing gear. Let's get above the actual... Let's land on this little thing that says E3, I guess. That'd do. Okay, right. Landing. How do I land? Ah, fucking heck. Yep. Nope, not that button, not that button. Alright, how do I go down? Ah, fudging heck. Settings, inputs, how do I just go bloody down? Strafe right, hover up, take off, hover down, which is V. Okay, this is a, you can see why I'm not, I'm not really into this. Land, damn you. Land. There we go. There we go. Exit. G. There we go, people. Well, we, we landed somewhere close to it. I'll say somewhere close to it. It's a little distance, isn't it, really? I wonder if there's any bad guys here. There probably is going to be bad guys here. I mean, this is kind of a mission, isn't it? So, I wouldn't expect just a little jolly in the frickin' in the park, to be honest, but you never know. Might just be a fetch quest. Be nice just have a fetch quest just after the last two missions we've had. The last two missions were freaking mental, weren't they? I knew it. These are Corin's men. Oh. I'm sure they know you're here. Don't stand a chance against the mercenaries of Corin's with that equipment of yours. Oh great. You um. better equipment. I know where Coron hides his stash. Let me show you. Okay. The stash. Let's go to the stash then. Lovely jobs. Da, 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 da. Lovely. Let's go and loot this then. Oh, nice. Okay. Can I go into character then? Um, not in there then. How do I get into character? Uh, H. And what can I actually put on myself? There's my character. How do I swap frickin' weapons? Is it this is this is just too much for me, I think, people. As much as I'm enjoying the game, I just I just can't find my way around. I just can't really get into enjoying it because I just I'm rubbish. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I don't even know how to draw my frickin' weapon now, people. Because I was playing with a joypad to start out with, wasn't I? Now I don't even know how to do that. So settings. I'm gonna be doing this all the blinking times. Input how to draw a weapon, um, gameplay plus mouth. No, I, I, I'm not on ship. I'm, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on freaking foot now. So how do I? Okay, Galactic Atlas, pause menu. See, this is all ship controls. Uh, character, character. There we go. Fire weapon one. Yeah, oh, you got to press number one. Okay, number two. That makes sense. All right, fine. Left to loot. Oh, I think I need a better weapon though. Ah, you get back. No, I don't want to loot them right now. Get F12. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get the fudge up. How do I get up? Oh, for fudge sake. Get up. Run away. Yeah, that teacher. I'll teach you for being a git. Okay, right. Okay, any other bad guys? There's one. Oh, 
Did he just blow up? I think I got him. Alright, fine. It's like the tutorial then, you know, when you got all the loot. You know that you're underpowered, but it would be nice if it actually come up and said, you know, this is how you put extra loot on, or whatever. This is how you change your weapons, and give you a chance to actually choose and change your weapons. Because I know I've got all those excellent weapons, but I still don't know how to go into the menu and change it. Oh, for fudge sake, I just want to get up there. Okay, cool. There we are. We're up. Right, let's go into here. Right, I'm in here. Now what do I do? F to interact. There we go. Oh, brilliant. There's no button or anything like that. You just interact with thin air. Yeah, you can tell that this has had one developer on it, but at the same time, I don't think I'm the best person to be sort of going for all of this stuff, to be honest. Because, you know, I'm, I, I guess I'm a little bit slow when it comes to this sort of thing. Especially when it comes to, um, you know, PC games and stuff. But anyway, I want to try and work out how to freaking put these new weapons on. Let's see if I can do this. All right, pilot, soldier. I have no idea what that's going on. Oh, yeah, this is your skill points allocation, which I've not done any of the skill points allocation as yet. I just want to... Character main. Yeah, oh, here we go. All right, so let's just see if we can swap this little pistol out. What Have I got something else? You see, it does, I'm clicking it, and I don't even know... Can I drag it off? What do I... What do, oh, shite. Now, oh, okay. Okay, okay, right. So, yeah, we'll put that back in there. Aha! Okay, so we've got this, but you know when we had that whole compare menu earlier, which was a lot cooler? Current, equip to compare. Okay, well we've got this rifle. What the fudge is this thing? Let's put that in there. But I don't know whether I've just swapped out for a better or worse weapon. Oh, can we put this on? Holy fudge, look at that! That's pretty darn cool, isn't it? I haven't got anything for melee. I've got a little pistol here. Is that the one that we've already got installed, located? No. So, let's put that one on. 75. That one's worth... That doesn't tell me how much. Oh, that one's worth 71. So I'm, I'm just going to go by what they're worth in, in value. Because it's DPS 42. DPS 92. 71. 91. Okay. Well, the other one was doing 92, so... That one does 41. This one looks pretty darn cool, though. A pulse charger. Hmm. Charged single. Okay, so that's a charged shot as well. But this is a fast charged shot. Let's put that one on. I think that was the weapon I had before, though. All right, fine. Well, at least we worked out how to put on some new armor, so I might be able to take some more damage. Lovely. Let's have a look. Number one. Okay, not bad. Number two. Well, that's miserable. Number three. Holy fudge, Nori! That's pretty darn wicked. Okay, we keep that one in our hands, I think, people. That's quite a lovely rock, isn't it, over there? I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, find the Coron Caves. I'm just following this marker, mate. That's where I'm going. I'm going this way. But you want. So, yeah. I would still say this game is worth every single penny because the amount of action that takes place when it does take place is great fun. And it does feel quite okay to play, to be honest. Okay, we found a dead guy. Yes. My friend is dead. Dead. How? Looks like he drowned in a puddle. Nope, he was murdered, Damn apparently. It. I told him not to mess with coin. Wait a second. Do you see any AT documentation around? It should be in a small mechanical box. Okay, I'll look for this mechanical box. Damn. Oh, yeah. It must not fall into Quinn's hands. Fortunately, we had a tracking device attached to the AT document. Just wait a sec. Okay. I know I'm asking a lot from you, but Quinn stole the AT document and is about to leave the atmosphere. You must catch him immediately. Okay, According not a problem. Screen, there's a cargo ship directly overhead. All right. The document must be in a container on that ship. Great Please fun. don't let them escape. Ah! I press the wrong button. I'm supposed to press jump. Yo. Okay, that didn't work out well. I ended up climbing up a pebble. Like a kangaroo, I leap! Heck yes. 
Okay, we just found out how to put on better armor and better guns. And then there's no bad guys to shoot. At least, I don't think there is. No, it doesn't look that way, does it? Yeah, we can climb. I don't know why that song just came into my head. Right, well, we're going to take on off. And hopefully, we're going to catch this cargo ship. Now, I didn't manage to install new missiles. I couldn't work out how to do that either. Oh, for fudge sake. How do I take off again? Oh, good, brilliant. It says on the screen. There we go. Retract landing gear. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get this cargo ship. There it is. Let's get him. Get him, Danny. Okay. Right, now I don't know how to actually get... Okay. Group one... Group two. What's going on? Why can't I shoot? Maybe I don't have to shoot it. Maybe I've got to go on board the cargo ship. Okay, there we go. Fudging hat. Take that, you roused about. Yeah. I got ya. Okay. How do I swap to weapon set two? Okay. Weapon set one. Let's do weapon set one. I was already on weapon set two. Okay, well that's not doing anything to him. Weapon set two. I need to get rid of his shields first. Great. Nope, that's the cargo ship. In my days. Take that! Roused about? Yeah, I can't remember how to dodge. I haven't played this for freaking time. Need to do the tutorial again or something. Come on! Freaking have it! Oh, for fudge's sake. Where's the energy bar that shows you when they're about to over blinking heat? Oh, uh, underneath the weapon, I see it now. The big one with the orange flames all over it. Yeah, I got it. Take that, you scutter. Okay, okay, he's got full freaking shields. Man, I need to remember how to lock onto the ship that's in question. That's the bloody cargo ship again. Some biscuits. Come on. Oh, I suck at this game. Are you the weak one? Be the weak one. No? Okay, right, we're just going to lock onto this one. I'll take this one out first then. Oh, auto follow, please, or something, you know? Take that! Okay, that's going to overheat. Yeah. My shields are offline. Great. We can take that. Good. Well, that's one of them down. We got one. Yeah. No, that's the cargo blanking ship. Okay, my targeted ship's this way. And he's got low shields now. And he's got no shields. I'm gonna have to use that one on him. Okay. I can't remember how to go fast. There we go. Damage its engines. Okay, we'll do. Hopefully, I can catch up with it. Is there a thrust button? I can't remember if there's a thrust button. Am I actually gaining on this thing? I don't know whether I am or not. OK, 
Okay, let's target it. Let's target it if I haven't already. Or have. I've targeted it. But it doesn't look like I'm gaining on it. I'm not I'm not seeing the numbers going the right way. In fact, they're going the wrong way. I don't know how to go any freaking faster. Okay. Settings. Oh my days. Input. Ship. How do I go faster? Okay, so thrust forwards, which is a W, which I'm doing. Okay, I'm doing W. And then is there any sort of speed? Turbo. Left shift. That's what I'm using. I'm using both of those at the same time. And it's not catching up with this thing. It's not catching up. Warp drive. Okay, I don't want to use warp drive. That's just going to take me way freaking past it, isn't it? Okay, let's just carry on doing what I was doing then. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, it looks like I'm catching it now. I was holding shift, but maybe I, I pressed it too early or something, or maybe I run out, I don't know. It seems that we're catching it up now. I don't think it's in range yet. Oh, there we go, we've just got a little red ditty. Ah, there we go, look, it's popping up. Absorbed. Great, okay, well let's get a bit closer then. Let's let my weapons cool down. Might as well wait until I can see the blasted thing, eh? Okay, we're under 1,700 U's now, so... I don't think I'm doing any damage yet. Absorbed, so yeah, might as well just hold off firing. I'm catching him. It's under 800 meters now. Oh, what did I just blow up there? Yeah, it takes a little while for the weapons to swap around. Find documents inside of the container. What the actual fudge? Okay, well I need to get out of the ship. What's the button to get out of the ship again? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It says to get out, so I've got to get documents or something. Alright, um... Settings, how do I get out the bloody ship again? Input, alright. Where's eject? Eject, eject, eject is G. Okay, cool. G. They've got drones? For fudge's sake, seriously? Ouch. Okay, let's go in this one. Go on, climb up, fly up. For fudge's sake, fly up. Oh, he won't go up any higher. For fudge's sake, what the actual fudge? Oh, here we go. Now go down. Go down! How the fudge do I fly down? Okay, in we go. Okay, G. Have I landed? F to interact. Loot all. Alright, let's get my let's get my freaking gun out. Where's them drones? You're shooting me through the freaking ceiling. I don't know how you're doing that, but freaking have that, you get bag. That teacher. Oh documents. I think I found them already. No, it is not in here. It's not those ones, I for fuck's sake, seriously. Let me a freaking bone. Alright, okay, getting out of there isn't easy. Is there another one this way? Let's go this way. Get in the freaking No, go in the hole! There. Not here. Damn it. Please keep looking. Oh my god, these drones are a pain in the neck. I don't know how much damage they're actually doing to me. Get in the hole. Let's go loot this first. Take all of that, thank you very much. Loot that. Here it is! Here it is. 
fly faster. We can't leave any evidence behind. Can't leave any evidence behind. The middle container carries gas canisters. With their help, we can destroy. Get in the ship. Now go and shoot the gas canisters into the gas. Yeah, I'm trying to get in. Die, gas containers! Okay, well... Am I actually doing damage or what? No, I don't know what I'm doing! Shoot the gas containers until they catch fire. Oh, okay, I guess I've got to do that in person then, have I? Okay. Gas containers, this way. I'm trying! I'm trying! I can't get out! Okay. Fudge and heck, that was heart in the mouth type moment, that. Holy fudge! Okay. Nice one! Okay, let's get out of here. I guess I've got to head back to that station now. I can't remember where the station was. Hopefully it's going to give me some waypoint markers. Whew! Well, that was that was fun, wasn't it? Okay, um, right, so if I bring up H and go into this one. There's Planet Uvis. Where's the station? Was it this station? It doesn't sh... Or was it this... Sonax station. I'm fairly sure it was Sonax station. That's Planet Nubin, Sonax Station. I think it's that one. I think it's that one. Yeah, Sonax Station, that's the one. Locked on. Calibration module activated. Calibration nice one. Completed. Waiting for the thruster input. I'm doing the thruster input right now, lovely lady. There you go. I'm getting used to the controls again. But it's taken all of this episode to get used to the controls, and unless I hit this up like over the weekend, which hopefully I can, I can do another mission. This is mission three, but I think you can understand why I haven't really picked this up myself, because I don't, as much as I like this, I don't think it's really for me, deep inside the view of us. I, I, I love it, and I think it's a great game, but I think it needs a lot more polish, and it needs a little bit more work when it comes to indicators. It's like finding my ship. I've spent ages looking for my poxy ship. And it's like now, it's like, well, where are the landing pads on this blasted dang thing, you know? Yeah, it just gives me Sonic Station. Lovely. Fine. Well, um, where do I go on Sonic Station when I'm at home? Even though I was landed on this earlier, I can't remember where the blinking landing pads were. All right, let's go over this way. Oh, here they are. I found them. Okay, cool. Maybe I just bitch and moan too much. All right, let's go over this way. Let's go and land on this deck over here, this lovely giant deck. Right, landing pads, or landing gear down. And then what was it to descend? I think it was V, maybe? Come on, level out. Not that way. Not that way. Punch in the heck. Okay, V. Land. Damn you freaking land. Oh, you freaking get back. Okay, right, slow down. And land. Oh, come on, just level out, please. Oh, for fudge sake. There you are. Maybe this isn't a landing pad. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. That should do a trick. I've landed. I've landed. Land. Why? Land! Damn it, land! I don't know how to slow down, that's the that's the shitter of it. Come on, land. Land, 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 land. My landing pad, my landing gear's out. I've got the landing camera down. It's not, okay, I guess I can't land there then. Maybe it's not a landing pad. Maybe this is a landing pad. Oh, look, there's a door there. So this must be the landing pad. So I was trying to land somewhere where I'm, I'm not allowed to land. All right, okay. 
now land. We can land. There we go. We're, uh, we're landed. Whew. I think I make this game harder for myself. You know, my ship looks completely busted up. Right, let's head on in then. Let's go and speak to the chappy. Let's go get my little robot fixed. But I think I might make this the last episode that I do of this. Mainly because I'm crap at it. And um, yeah, although that I enjoy playing it, it's a frustrating game for me to stream or to actually make videos on because I suck at it, basically. I need something a little bit more simplistic. It's why I gave up on Star Citizen, to be fair. Because it's just frustration on top of frustration. I suppose if you play it every day, that frustration would slowly go away. But you know what? Um, yeah, there you go. Why don't you just auto open? You know what I mean? Right. Oh, okay, it was a lift. All right, fine. Now we head this way. Dun, 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 dun. Diddly dee, diddly dum, diddly dee. Let's go see him. He's miles away. Um, probably not this direction. No, that's a dead end. And I need to head right, don't I? I think. Go down here and then go right. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's all the way at the end of this corridor. Lovely jubbly. I don't know when my sprint's going to run out. Maybe get infinite sprint inside of buildings. Who knows? Hello, robots. There we go. Well, there's fast travel points. Maybe I should make use of this fast travel point. Hello I there. Believe what you just did there. You were great. I know, right? As promised, I repaired your robot. Thank you. However, only the B drive was operational. This means that only the head of the robot was working. Great. But after all you've done for me, I didn't want to settle for that. Nice one. I found a very clean robot from the junkyard and uploaded your robot's B drive to a newer model droid. Oh, nice. As a matter of fact, you will have a new generation multifunctional droid with the brain of your old robot. Sweet. These S are 11 models are very athletic, able to fight and even... You know what I mean? Okay. You mentioned the extra reward. Ah, I almost forgot. I collected the ship weapons and two upgrade components for you. I'm sure they're better than the ones loaded on your ship. Nice one. Thanks again. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Nice one, mate. Okay, well, that, that was pretty cool. Is this my new robot? I think it is. Hello. How do I talk to thee? There's no interact this button. Exoskeleton. It is different. Good. It's you. You know who I am? I was an old colleague of your father's. What? I had promised him I would watch over you and thought I had failed him. But here you stand before me. That's a twist. It's understandable you don't remember me. After all, you were just a baby when we parted ways. My designation was three with commander of the WRA. I was the Rock World Resistance Army. And all for that, I need to start from the beginning. Oh, don't worry about it, mate. Cinematic. Okay, go on in. Go on in. Give us a cinematic. I want to see the cinematic. Which brings us to today. Oh, I guess it's not made yet. Alright, fine. Now the response, Whatever. Do you call okay. Yep, you know my father. Well done. You're an awesome cool. robot. You're the best. Great. Yeah, right. cool, cool. I get you. We have plenty of time. Should you... there is... Sweet. If you go on Let's... Lovely. There's probably something in there that I probably needed to know, but with all the rest of the babble, why bother? Get back to your ship. Wait until the raid is ready. All right, well, um, I could go install those components that got given to me, but it's very hard to tell whether anything is worth having or not inside of this game, to be honest. With the, you only get the compare options when you're selling stuff. Um, unless I'm missing a trick here. I don't I freaking don't know. And that, that looks like I'm actually selling stuff there rather than actually uh, putting on the stuff that I've got. But you know what? I think I think you get the basic idea, people. I'm not all that great when it comes to this sort of game. So let's uh, let's just jump back to me over on this cam here. So I finished my cup of tea long, long time ago. Take care. So that's freaking gone. That's been done. Um, but yeah, I'm going to exit out of the actual game itself. Let's uh, get out of there. Quit. Lovely jubbly. And uh, ooh, I've just lent on my keyboard. I start playing a bit of music on the old Winamp. But yeah, so. Starborn 2, Spaceborn 2, or whatever it's called. 
I really do like the game, don't get me wrong. It's just that there's just so many blinking buttons, so many buttons. This keyboard here, every single one of those buttons does something when you're inside the ship. Every single one on that keyboard does something. And trying to remember what they blinking do, I, I just haven't got, I just haven't got, no, I haven't got the capacity to remember it all. So I have to keep going into the inputs and trying to work it out, which is nice because it's solo, so it lets you do that. You know, you can go in and do that. That's not, not, not too much of an issue. But some of the menus feel a bit clunky, and some of the things that are inside of the game still feel a bit clunky. It has only been developed by one developer. I think it needs to be picked up by a software house and carried a bit and given a bit more polish. But if you've got more patience than me, and if you're not streaming this or making guide videos, then fine, it's a great game. I can happily play this offline without any frustration, but I wanted to deliver this to you as some sort of, you know, let's play. And to be fair, I'm not that very good at playing it. So it's not really for my channel. So I'm going to make this the last episode of uh, Spaceborne 2. But that doesn't mean I don't like it, because I do. It's just, like I say, I think it needs more polish for me, or I need more polish for the game. One or the other, let us know in the comments, are you struggling with the controls of this game? Do you find it a little bit janky at places? But it does feel worth it, though, because the missions, just like that last mission, actually was heart pounding and I actually felt, yes, I've freaking done it. I got those documents. I just got my own droid. It's starting to get exciting and it does shape up well as a game. It just needs that extra lift, I think, people. It really does. But anyway, um, until next time, you've been awesome. I've been Captain Steve. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.